Mittwoch 11 Uhr. Herzlich willkommen. Meine Wednesday 11 a.m. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to DTP TV. So one and a half weeks uh, to the uh, live uh, Congress uh, in uh, uh, Nova. So the Crime Prevention Control Center in the Ministry of Interior of Line and Palatinate has uh, celebrated its uh, 25th years uh, uh, and uh, uh, in particular, they focused on the importance of uh, communal uh, prevention. And as far as the uh, Rhinel Palatinate is concerned, um, they focused uh, on the 70 uh, uh, communal prevention uh, commissions. And uh, the leader in his uh, report uh, mentioned in particular the need for professionalism in the criminal prevention quality management and also the possibilities for continuous education that should be offered at a regional level so that good prevention work can be provided locally. In the uh, Criminological Society, outstanding criminologists uh, from the German-speaking uh, uh, area, so from Germany, Austria and uh, Switzerland, have uh, uh, created a congress, uh, uh, created a, um, uh, an association that, uh, uh, that holds a congress every two years. Uh, this year, the congress uh, uh, took place uh, in Hanover. Let's hear from uh, Catherine Bretfeld. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Catherine Bretfeld. I'd like to share a brief uh, outline with you today about uh, the uh, conference uh, that I attended last week, uh, the conference of the Criminological Society. You may know that, uh, um, well, the conference was entitled Crime and Digitalization and uh, took place uh, in Hanover from the 8th to the 10th of September, a wonderful occasion. Uh, and uh, so it was the conference center that you see here with the beautiful gardens. The theme of the conference, uh, so crime and digitalization, uh, was uh, uh, dealt with in the plenary lectures. It was about internet security. It all began with a very interesting lecture by Martina Cecil. He basically said that the problem of the internet security doesn't like with the user who simply has to remember a 10 digit password, but uh, with the very system. Uh, there were other exciting lectures uh, that dealt with the effects of the use of AI or better uh, still uh, learning systems in the various areas uh, about uh, the possibilities and limitations of social control in times of big data and social media up to the use of virtual reality. I don't know if you know this uh, expression. With the help of which attempts were made to better understand the decision making processes of uh, uh, criminals. But uh, criminology uh, was also given a lot of space in this uh, conference. Uh, there were a total of 22 panel discussions with 89 presentations uh, on Friday. There was then uh, the awarding uh, of the Beccaria medals. Uh, as usual, for those who do not know them, the Beccaria medals are made of gold. Um, uh, and uh, they are awarded for lifetime achievement. And this year, this medal was awarded to two very outstanding criminologists. In my opinion, they couldn't have made a better choice. They were given to Susanne Karstedt, who is uh, currently still working at the university in Australia, and uh, Frieda Dunkel, whom I'm sure you already know from Greifswald uh, as the former holder of the chair uh, of criminology. So much for the conference. I'd like to conclude with a wonderful quote from Thomas Prisner, the chairman of the Criminological Society. He summarized in his closing speech as follows. If you look at what exciting panels and topics there were, and especially how high the proportion of young scientists has been, then you can say that criminology in Germany is very successful. Okay, that's it for me. Not quite as short as I thought. I hope you found it interesting. See you then. Thank you very much, Catherine Bretfield. Uh, last week, uh, the Pulitzer Trade Union uh, had uh, the 27th Ordinary Federal Congress in Berlin, and uh, the delegates uh, appointed also a uh, successor, Oliver Meischeld, and uh, 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 Johan Kopelke, who is also who will also be uh, present uh, 
uh, at the conference in ANOVA. So this year's uh, Congress, ladies and gentlemen, is getting closer. It will take place in less than two weeks. So, so we are looking forward to welcoming you on the 4th and 5th of October in Hanover, so after the bank holidays. And uh, um, so uh, the uh, uh, exciting panel discussions were uh, presented last week. Uh, today, I'd like to take a closer look at the workshops. There are seven workshops in total. The first uh, workshop is about the project uh, Families Make the Difference, an approach uh, by the International Rescue Committee to specifically support uh, families and parents uh, with a history of flight, with a flight background. The second workshop is about uh, urban conflict transformation, in particular in the city of Augsburg. On the basis of concrete examples and case studies, we will talk about the staging of space uh, approaches to solving everyday conflicts in cities and villages. In the third workshop, uh, the project uh, Startup Two will be presented an education and prevention program for uh, children of kindergarten age through drills and exercises. We will uh, primarily take away uh, insights uh, for the work with children. In uh, the fourth workshop, uh, the question of how neo Salafist uh, speeches work will be explored. Uh, we will, in particular, look at how neo Salafist uh, leaders. Uh, use, for example, their racist experiences as young people to recruit uh, young people. The fifth workshop is offered by the World Childhood Foundation in Germany. It will be about child protection and child-friendly justice and what it takes and what conditions are necessary to set up a, a new childhood house and a new location. In workshop number six, uh, we will talk about uh, prevention work with children whose parents are in prison, a very special target group. And uh, together, we will work out uh, what special needs these children uh, of imprisoned persons have. And finally, in workshop number seven, we focus on how to teach children about their right to co-determination and democratic decision-making processes. We will do so with the help of a radio play. This workshop is particularly interesting for those uh, who uh, want to get to know and try out uh, this method of political education. So uh, we continue to receive uh, questions uh, about uh, the, uh, pop, the, the uh, future Presidents Congress in ANOVA uh, and especially concerning the hybrid uh, uh, version. So the question is... Uh, 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 well, um, we are present online until October every day with uh, lectures and uh, uh, in uh, pulses. But in ANOVA, there will be no online possibility, so there is no streaming, you have to be present on site. And uh, so, if you uh, have already participated uh, in the uh, lectures and uh, uh, practical impulses, you do not have to register again. So with a registration, you have the ability to see on a Wednesday live uh, or at any time as they are recorded uh, on DTP TV. But at the same time, you also have uh, the ticket to have access uh, to the live uh, Congress uh, that will take place uh, on October 4th and 5th in ANOVA. And then another question is about uh, any evening event that uh, takes place in uh, uh, Hanover, uh, how it works, uh, whether you have to register and pay. Uh, well, uh, you are invited, all the conference attendees are uh, invited by uh, the German Foundation, and so no special payment uh, is foreseen. And so we're looking forward to uh, Welcoming you in Hanover again. So now there will be practical impulses and uh, lectures. Uh, so bye bye for today and uh, stay tuned uh, and uh, have a profitable uh, week. Thank you very much. <laughs>